<laughs> Have you considered using FaceTime instead of email? Actually, I think that's really good advice. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Hillary Clinton joking with Jimmy Kimmel as she faces more scrutiny surrounding her email scandal, but she's got to be concerned about how this will impact her in the general election, right? The State Department said that they have to release 15,000 emails uh, by the deadline is a couple of days before the debate. Are you concerned about that? No. Hillary says she's not worried, but should she be, and should she be laughing about it? Hi, everyone. I'm Eric Bowling. Welcome to Cashing In. Our Cashing In crew this week, Mercedes Schlapp, Katie Pavlich, Caitlin Huey Burns, and David Mercer. Welcome, everybody. Katie. <laughs> oh, those email scandals. Those <laughs> so I'm not worried. So should funny. she be worried, though? Well, one thing I think we have to laugh about, actually, is that uh, an episode of Teen Mom and a rerun of Friends uh, got more attention than Hillary Clinton's Kimmel appearance. So I think he's probably regretting having her on the show. Um, but, yes, of course she should be worried about it. There's a new poll out this week showing that her untrustworthy numbers are now at 69%. And this is the one major thing that's been dogging Hillary Clinton for more than a year now trying to get people to trust her. And uh, when she laughs about a very serious matter, when she laughs about the FBI finding 15,000 additional emails, I think more people are going to start paying attention to what WikiLeaks is going to drop in October, and they're going to pay attention closer to what the foundation is doing as well. Mm -hmm. And also, Mercedes, uh, the FBI just demanded more emails. They want her to produce more emails, and they were giving her to, I think, the middle of September, and that's on the heels of Judicial Watch getting a FOIA request. That's right. And I think for Hillary Clinton, I mean, she made it very clear that she had handed over all of her emails, which was not the case. Uh, this can put her into some legal trouble as well. And going back to the laughing matter point, I mean, let's remember last August, it was Hillary Clinton who was saying, laughing about the fact, what do you mean by wiping the server with a cloth? It's whenever she puts herself in that position of laughing, these, brushing off these serious allegations that you have to wonder. There's definitely, there, they have to be nervous. They need to be concerned about this because I think at the end, it definitely does impact, continue to impact the fact that can Americans trust her with sensitive information, with national security materials? Obviously, she has gotten a, an F in that category. David, you can't be laughing at this. You're, you're a, a Democrat supporter. You can't be laughing at all these email scandals that keep on happening. As Katie pointed out, originally Hillary Clinton scrubbed 30,000 emails. The FBI says, oh, look what we found. We found 15,000 more that you, never, you said never existed. Uh, not laughing, um, but it's amazing to hear the commentary thus far, uh, and yet the poll that Katie wants to forget about is the poll that the Quinnipiac uh, has come out with, showing Hillary Clinton 10 points above uh, Donald Trump. Secondly, Katie neglects to mention that Donald Trump's untrustworthiness is way higher than anything we've seen with hey, Hillary hey, David, Clinton. David, That's David, for one. Dave, let's, let's stay on Hillary, though. Let's stay on Hillary. I mean, she had Katie well, points well, out we, accurately that are untrustworthy I, as, as, and, and, and honesty numbers are, are in the tank. Uh, as I remember, we're, we're in an election with two candidates uh, and more, and we're talking about Hillary and Donald. And so I just want to remind the viewers what the other, uh, uh, my fellow panelists are okay. not Fine. reminding Fine. them of. So I'll remind you that race. the segment was about Hillary laughing off email scandals, and I'll bring it out to Caitlin. Caitlin, should she be laughing, or is this the drip, drip, drip that is eventually going to fill up the pool? Right. I don't think she should be laughing. I think she should handle it the way that she did in a CNN interview later that week that in which she reminded people that she apologized for having the server and is, she's trying to move on this week by deflecting uh, to Donald Trump, trying to get the attention away from her and the emails and the Clinton Foundation controversy and focus on Donald Trump. And that's what we're going to be seeing from both campaigns for the next two and a half months. We're not going to see each side address the issues that they are facing. It's a battle uh, to make this race a referendum on the other, and that's how this is going to play out. So, um, so we had email scandals, Katie, and we also have a lot of Clinton Foundation fodder to play around with. Mm -hmm. in that. And that, and the interesting part about uh, of all this is, as these emails are read through and parsed, you're finding more and more um, possible corruption with the Clinton Foundation. Well, and that's why we have mounting evidence the FBI is, in fact, investigating the Clinton Foundation for public corruption. And on its face, it looks very bad. We know that this week we saw emails produced by Judicial Watch showing that Huma Abedin, who's been working for the Clintons since the 90s, she now uh, is on the Clinton campaign during her time at the State Department, basically denied meetings to individuals who wanted uh, official access to Secretary Clinton, rerouted them to the Clinton Foundation. They then donated 
uh, massive sums of money to the foundation, and then all of a sudden they got official access to Secretary Clinton. I mean, that is corruption. And, 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 and that's why taxpayer from the entity to get access. Hold on, hold on, David. That, 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 ask, just Eric, please, just please, just wait. That's why sure. these emails are so important. That's why we're talking mm -hmm. about it, because we're finding things <clears throat> within these emails that, that have tentacles throughout the, the Clinton Foundation, the Clintons themselves. But, Go ahead, but, David. Uh, I just got to ask. Uh, you mentioned the word corruption, and I haven't seen, nor has the FBI, nor in the reporting of you the haven't? AP, you the haven't? faulty reporting. You haven't seen nothing, any? Nothing. You haven't, that seen has, any? you haven't seen any pay to play? You haven't seen any quid pro quo? Well, Mention I'll give one you a whole me. bunch of them. Sure, sure, let's sure, hear it. Let's sure, hear I'll it. give you one. The, the, yes. the crown sure. prince of Bahrain drops $32 million into the Clinton Foundation and then gets a meeting that was prior, previously said, she's not ready to meet with you. He drops the money in, he gets, he gets the meeting. That's paying okay. So you're telling access. me that every congressman, every senator that takes any money in contributions should not meet with those donors? These if donors they're are doing it because If they're giving the women, access after the money, then, then, then they're doing quid pro quo as well. That's yes, sir, I agree with that. Quo. There's no quid pro quo. Eric, well, look, okay. right. I, Let I me bring the Mercedes in. Having Mercedes. a meeting David, is not a quid David, pro quo. It, it, by, def, by, by the very defi you, you definition it is. You've got to stop being one of these Hillary Clinton attackers. This is what the Hillary Clinton surrogates do all the time. They just just continue to attack without facing the facts here that well, it was very the clear let's that the Clinton... Well, but I mean, it, it looks... The appearance is bad. The perception is bad. Okay, There's now we're moving to appearance from Wait facts. A second. Come on Wait a now, second. Mercedes. The, come, come on. on. The conflict Give me the of facts. interest here, because Clinton made it very clear when she testified in Congress that there would be this space between her and the foundation, the State Department and the foundation. This was the AP reporting this story, basically saying, look, more than half of these people who donated to the Clinton Foundation ended up having private meetings with her. It's the Mercedes, access the fact question. Is, is that it's the they fact of giving information. It's they sharing the information to between the Clinton all the Foundation and the State Department. She did not keep to her word. End of story. D and David, it does David, give that appearance David. of corruption and yeah. pay for play. It Mer absolutely does. Yeah. Mercedes is right. It's the AP reporting and they, what they did was they took out the unofficial was, State Department business. Correct. They took the official stuff, put it aside, and they said the stuff that people wanted to meet with Clinton about, 50% of those were granted access were, were donors into the Clinton Foundation. I mean, they, people Eric, are buying access. Yeah. But, by the way, yeah, I but, don't think they okay, deny so the access that's part, a, but I think so that's a but they, they, they but should what, deny, what, what they what should what deny the deals that, pro, David, listen, no pro listen pro. to me, Escuchen. I'm, I'm hoping that you're listening to me too. <laughs> listen to me. Eric, there are deals Eric, that Eric, came, that there are deals that were done after these donations were made. GE did a deal with Algeria. Boeing did a deal with Russia. Russia did a deal with Uranium One. I These are all things that, that we commerce. can possibly tie Wait, up later. That's global commerce. <laughs> no, Eric, not if it's not at the expense of other people, people, <laughs> people at the expense of the free market. Go ahead. Eric, I'm, if I'm I can just get in real quick and, and make a, a quick point here. Let's not forget that in July, Hillary Clinton said nothing I did as Secretary of State had anything to do with the Clinton Foundation. We now know that that is not that true. Was, and the question right. that the question becomes when Hillary Clinton says she deleted 30,000 emails that she deemed personal. Did she think that business regarding the Clinton yeah. Foundation should be classified as personal? And Kay. that's the question now. Finish it up, Caitlin. I think there are a lot of great questions here, which is a reason why Hillary Clinton, I think, should have a press conference and address <laughs> all of these <laughs> issues point. for all of us. That's my yeah, bipartisan I think, take. Yeah, yeah, Donald Trump should have how, a press how about conference how? on its tax returns. Absolutely. Uh, I agree right. with that. Right, we ran out of time. I'm I sorry. Agree. Good debate, you guys, everyone. <laughs>